the previous video, someone asked, where did you get that loader node? The answer is, I made it myself using the integrated nodes extension. I decided to do a little video about it. If you like to tinker with workflows and keep them neat and tidy, the integrated nodes could be a great help. You might call it an OCB, but I really like my workflows to be neat and tidy. I have a hard time following what is happening, what is the process on a workflow like this. Uh, so the first thing that I always do with any workflow that I like to have myself is turn it into something like this, which uh, is uh, simple to follow. The workflow is always from left to right. And this here on the left, that is the note we were talking about. That is my loader note, but that is that consists actually of three notes. We will see in a minute how that works. Actually, my complete default workflow is this one. Uh, and that loader note is here on the left. Uh, this is neat and tidy in my eyes at least, uh, but this is not the workflow that is included in the download link. Uh, that is this workflow. And the reason is that it is a bit hard to include integrated notes because it, it needs a little extra software. I could include it, but then I probably get a lot of questions. How does it work and so forth. And this is all standard notes. Well, not standard. They are custom nodes, but they can easily be installed with the manager and integrated nodes. Well, you make them yourself. Let's zoom in a bit to the left side of this workflow. It is these three nodes that I combined, these three that I combined into one using the integrated nodes custom node. I do know that Comfy UI, uh, since one of the latest releases, uh, also has a new a node group function. And of course, I tried that out. This is it. You select a couple of nodes, then you right click and uh, click on this convert to group node. That is the standard function in Comfy UI nowadays. And then it asks for a uh, name. Uh, I gave the name pipe loader group and uh, when you hit OK you get this new grouped node which now combined those three nodes into one very big node which is what we wanted it's now one node that is already nice but however there are a couple of problems with it uh, okay here i put it uh, in its place uh, the prompts have two less space so i have to uh, uh, make it a bit larger and yeah now it is too large to my personal liking and the reason for that is all the widgets of all those three uh, nodes uh, and all inputs uh, they are all now available here but half of those widgets I never use I want to have a node uh, or I, I would like to have a function where I can hide a lot of them that I never use. So that is not possible with this group node. A second problem with these group nodes is they are only available here in this workflow. Uh, look, I can add an another one. It is here at the bottom group nodes and then workflow. And there is my new grouped node, the pipe loader group. I can click on it and I get a second one. But I seldom have use for two of the same groups in one workflow. I would like to have this particular uh, loader group in another workflow. But that is not possible. If I go to another workflow and I like to find that new uh, pipe loader group, it is not there because the grouped nodes are not here in this workflow. Uh, you cannot transfer it from one workflow to another. So two issues and the integrated nodes, they solve both issues. Uh, let's return to our workflow. You can, by the way, ungroup your grouped node uh, by right clicking on it and then select convert to nodes and then you get your original nodes back. So now I like to do something similar but with the integrated nodes. Well, first things first, we have to install it. Well, we know uh, how that works. We go to the manager, type integrated here in the search field, and there's only one, the Palant integrated nodes. 
install it and restart and then we have it available. It works largely the same. We first select the nodes that we want to integrate. So I selected these three again. Right click outside of the nodes, by the way, in an empty space. Create integrated node from selection. selection. Click on that. And uh, it will uh, also ask for a name. In this case, I made it pipe loader integrated. No spaces allowed, hence the underscores. You can give it a display name and there you can use spaces, but why would I? Then hit create node and we are done. Uh, we don't get to see our new node. It is there, it is, it is in the system, uh, but it is now sort of a normal node we can use it anywhere in this workflow or in any other workflow and we just have to add it like any other node uh, click on your uh, space add a node and then here we find integrated nodes almost at the bottom and i already created a few but the new one that we just made is here pipe loader integrated and if i click that then we get our new node and yeah it is also a very big node because all the widgets and all the inputs are now combined and we have not yet tweaked it but uh, i i will already show how it is going to look uh, if we have tweaked it, then it is looking like this. I have my prompts and I have a couple of outputs, the ones that I need further down the road. Only one widget for the size and I got rid of this width and height over there. Only the aspect ratio because I never type in specific widths and heights. I, I always pick one from the list. And also over here, all the widgets that I never use I took them out and I only display the widgets that I do use, which makes it much easier to oversee what we are doing. Now the question is of course, yeah, but how do you get rid of those extra widgets and inputs? And also uh, I lost a lot of the outputs, I only left four in. How do we do that? Well, for that we need to tweak a little software. That is totally not complicated. Uh, if we go to the Comfy UI, custom nodes, integrated nodes folder, we find a file, the new uh, node that we just created, our pipe loader integrated. And I can open that file in uh, an editor. And it looks like this. We don't have to change anything in this file, but we need it later for uh, to find some numbers and to copy those uh, exact names. There's another file and that is the integrated notes YAML file. That is the file that uh, has all the in integrated notes that you have created. And here uh, I already had a couple. So it added the last newly created pipe loader integrated at the end of the file. Uh, and it did not uh, exclude any inputs or outputs. It's only the full node. But as you can see here with other nodes that I have already made, you can use a function called hide inputs and you can also use a function called export outputs. And that is how we are going to change what we want to see. For instance, if I am never going to use this model override over there, then I put that model override here in the height inputs. Uh, I just have to take care that I'm very careful uh, typing it exactly 100% the same. And that is where this JSON file comes in very handy. If I want to uh, hide the config name, I just copy it from the JSON file. Then I know that I have the spelling 100% right and then I paste it in my YAML file. Let's now decide which outputs we want to see uh, with the export outputs function. Uh, well, I like to have only the pipe model positive and VAE because I am going to use them further down the, the road. Um, and well, with the export output function, it works like this. As soon as you mention one, then the others do not show. So if I mention these four, I know that the other ones that are available here will not show anymore. Where is that number 82 coming from? Well, that is again in the JSON file. Every node has a number 
and the pipe loader had number 82. That is why I have to place that number 82 over there. This is actually it. We now created with our new software YAML file this node, which actually consists of three nodes, but now is combined all into one. There's one more thing uh, that is important. When we use uh, custom nodes inside the integrated nodes, then we have to read in the manual, uh, go to its GitHub page, uh, at the bottom of the manual, it has a chapter using custom nodes in integrated nodes because we need to take care that the, the custom nodes load as the last one. All the other ones at startup time have to be loaded first. That's done via a YAML file. Uh, in the Comfy UI folder, we have a YAML uh, file and we need to edit that file. And you have to put there where your custom nodes last folder that is a new folder that you have to make resides and then you put the custom nodes integrated nodes in your new custom nodes last folder and tell the yaml file where it can find it and that is how you can get this to work in my case i have a special folder for all my checkpoints and loras and what have you so that is where i point uh, the base path to and with me it works like this with you maybe you have to follow what exactly was written in that github page all right this was it for now um, the image that we made is a street in new york pen and ink painting and it looks like this if it is enlarged Thank you for watching and maybe see you back in the next video and as always in the meantime have fun.